In this part of the tutorial, we'll see how the AI to Canvas plugin automatically rasterizes artwork that has no direct equivalent in the current version of the HTML5 Canvas specification. So to do that, let's create a brand new layer underneath the Sun layer. I'll double click the layer and give it a name of Sun Glow. Then using the ellipse tool, I will draw a circle behind the Sun that is about the same size as the Sun. And I'll use my eyedropper tool to give it a nice orange fill. I'll pull down the effect menu, choose Blur, choose Gaussian Blur, and give it a radius of around 10 pixels. Then click OK. I'll pull down the file menu, select export, export the file and overwrite the copy we've been working with. And when this exports, we'll notice that the Gaussian blurred orange glow behind the sun is retained, yet there isn't a Gaussian blur command in the HTML5 canvas specification. If I right click and view the source, what I'll see when I scroll down to the bottom of this document is that, well first of all, the sun glow function is referencing an image called image2. And if I go to the bottom of this document, I'll see that image 2, which started out as a Gaussian blurred orange circle, has been rasterized automatically to a ping file. So let's close this, close the browser, and say that we wanted to explicitly take some vector artwork, like our rocket ship, and turn it into a rasterized bitmap, maybe for performance reasons. I'll double click the rocket layer name and add a property called Rasterize, and after Rasterize, I'll give it a name of Rocket, which basically is telling the plugin to rasterize all of the artwork on this layer to a file called Rocket, and it'll be a .png file. So I'll click OK, pull down File, choose Export. Again, I'll overwrite the existing file. And when this document opens up, we'll view the source. And the function that used to have a bunch of rocket drawing commands in it, if I look down here, no longer draws all of the vectors, but instead references an image called image4. And if I go to the bottom of this document, you'll notice that image4, which was our rocket layer, has automatically been exported out to rocket.png. So what we've seen in this tutorial is that if you use features of Adobe Illustrator that have no direct equivalent in HTML5 Canvas, it will automatically rasterize those elements and place them on the page. Or, if for whatever reason you want to rasterize a particular layer that may contain vectors or text, maybe for performance reasons, you can add a property, and in this case it's called Rasterize, give it a file name, and it will export that to a PNG file and place it in the document.